Online Business, Creating a Milestone Chart. In this article, I am going to discuss why it is very helpful for you to create some kind of a milestone chart for your online business. I am going to describe exactly how you create one and why it is important. Many internet marketers have some form of journal or diary where they keep track of their progress and the goals that they are aiming for. This provides them with a good way of following their own progress and therefore helps to keep them motivated to continue and implement the tasks that they need to in order to achieve specific goals. If you are able to display your goals and achievements in a chart that you can look at and see at a glance exactly where you stand then it becomes even more helpful. I prefer to see a chart rather than wade through my journal to find out how I'm doing. Creating your milestone chart you will need to use a spreadsheet to design your chart. You could use OpenOffice or Word, depending on which software you actually own or have on your computer. Create 12 columns where each column represents a month in the year. This is for you to create a year's milestone chart. Now decide particular goals that you want to achieve during the year. So for example, suppose you want to create four products for your business in one year. Decide roughly how long it will take for you to create each product and for this example I shall suggest one month for each product. So on your spreadsheet decide what color you will use to represent product creation and highlight the months that will represent working on a product creation. You might decide to spread this out during the year, or if product creation is a real priority for you, then you may want to work on product creation four months in a row. Suppose you have another goal for the year in that you want to write 600 blog posts on your own blog. If you break this down, it would require you to write 50 blog posts each month. Decide what color you will use to represent writing your blog posts and add that to your chart. If you are going to write 50 posts each month then the whole year will be highlighted with this color. If you decided that you would instead write 100 blog posts every other month then you would highlight those particular months. The idea with creating a chart like this is for you to see at a glance whether you are overloading your time and how to shuffle things around so that you can still achieve your goals for the year but in a more realistic time frame. When you have finished creating your chart you will have quite a few rows with different colored blocks added. As you go through the year, you can see straight away what you need to be working on each month, and after each month, you can tick off your achievements very easily. Another advantage of using a chart like this is, if you fall behind for whatever reason you can immediately reorganize your schedule, so that you remain on track for your year's goal, the opposite is also true. When there are gaps in your chart, you can fill them in, to achieve even more than you originally set out to do.